Hello everyone and welcome to another lecture video dito sa Earth Science. So in this particular video, I'll be discussing to you another Earth material which is yung rock. Alamin natin kung ano yung nature ng rock, yung description niya, at kung ano yung process ng pagbuo ng rocks. So rocks are described as naturally occurring, just like minerals. No? Naturally occurring solid aggregates of one or more minerals. So as mentioned in our previous na discussion about minerals, so when you combine minerals through pressure and heat and other agents, you will come up with a rock. So they are identified by the minerals they contain. Just like for example, limestone is a rock. The mineral con uh, content of limestone is calcite or calcium carbonate. And they are also identified by their uh, texture or how uh, they form okay, in the crust of the earth. Okay, so rocks are the materials of geosphere and natural phenomena such as volcanic eruption, mountain buildings, weatherings, and erosion, and even earthquake involve rocks. So meron kinalaman sa rock. For example, the mountain building is orogenesis. Weathering, it's not about the atmospheric weather na, no? It is all about the breakdown of rocks. So all of these processes, nag involve sa rocks, guys. Okay? So later on, alamin natin. So yung pinaka-significant dito na process na kailangan natin alamin ay yung rock cycle. Paano ba nabubuo yung rocks? Paano siya nakoconvert into one form, no? Uh, from one form to another. So it is a concept of continually changing rocks through time. So ibig sabihin guys, rock cycle has no, ano, no, has no start, definite start. Because again, it is a cycle. Yeah. But later on, we will examine it you know, for the sake of understanding. Um, we break down that in shine to steps or processes. Okay? So the cycle views an igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks as the present but temporary stage in the ongoing transformation of rocks to new types. Ibig sabihin nito guys, so a, an igneous rock will not stay igneous forever. It will change into another form of rock eventually no? with, the help of, uh, with the help of other agents of, for example, weathering, erosion, yung mga factors na nag-change the structure of rocks. So, uh, one type of rock will not, will not remain as that type. No? For example, igneous. Igneous rock will not remain as igneous forever. The same with the sedimentary and the metamorphic rock. So, hindi sila mananatiling sedimentary or metamorphic rock forever. No? So, there is a continual or, or continuous na change among rocks. Okay, so that's it. So what are the, I don't know, uh, the basic steps? Say for example here, uh, again, as mentioned earlier, yung rock cycle, guys, has no definite start. But for the sake of uh, understanding, uh, let us try to, I don't know, examine it um, step by step or piece by piece. Let's start with the magma. So magma is a form of molten uh, rock materials found beneath the Earth's surface. So here, nandito siya. Nasa magma chamber siya. Yeah. So, if there is a volcanic eruption, some of this magma will uh, come out from the crater of the volcano and will become lava. Diba? And some will solidify, will solidify uh, beneath the Earth pa rin, no? So, hindi sila lumabas Dito lang sila nag-solidify. So if some of the minerals or some of the magma will solidify beneath the earth's surface, hindi siya lumabas as lava, if that is still magma na nag-solidify, the process is crystallization. Okay? Crystallization. So if a magma crystallize or solidify, the type of rock that will be produced is intrusive igneous rock or intrusive IR, intrusive igneous rock. Ibig sabihin, nasa loob pa siya ng crust, hindi siya lumabas. Just like, for example, if 
nag-solidify ang um, magma dito sa loob no ng volcano hindi pa siya lumabas yan nag-solidify siya nag-crystallize siya yan. so ang mapo-produce na uh, type ng rock is tinatawag natin na intrusive igneous rock however pag lumabas na siya say for example lumabas siya during a volcanic eruption lumabas siya so this one is intrusive igneous rock yung nabuo dito. So, intrusive igneous rock yung nabuo dito. Through the process of crystallization. Crystallization. Nasa loob pa siya, hindi siya lumabas. Dito lang siya nag-solidify. Pero pag lava na, yung nag-solidify, the process is cooling and solidification. Siyempre, exposed na sa air. So, the uh, type of rock that will be produced is what we call extrusive naman. So, pag extrusive, ibig sabihin sa labas. So, eto na siya, guys. Etong namuong um, lava or tumigas na lava. Say, for example, nag-flow yung lava from the volcano and then it will cool down and solidify. The uh, type of rock that will be produced is extrusive igneous rock. So, that's it. So, from here, crystallization or from magma, it will become a lava and then it will become extrusive igneous rock. Okay? So that's it. So from the magma, it will become lava and then it will become extrusive igneous rock. But if the magma uh, will not uh, be spewed out during volcanic eruption and then will just crystallize beneath the Earth's crust or nandyan lang sa Earth's crust, ang tawag sa kanya ay intrusive igneous rock. Pag nandito siya sa loob. Yung process is crystallization. Pag lumabas na siya, cooling and solidification, yung um, yung starting material niya is lava na. No? Yung uh, napalabas na magma. So it will become extrusive igneous rock. Dito, intrusive igneous rock. Okay? And then next is mawe weather dito no. Yung intrusive igneous rock will be weathered, syempre. No? Ma Ano nga yung weathering, guys? So the weathering is the process of breaking down rocks into pieces. So weathering there are different agents of weathering. You have uh, water, yung number 1, syempre. You have the um, what else? The air, chemicals, no? acids. So all of these things, mechanical or chemical weathering, they will break rocks into pieces. So that is the process of weathering. No? The breaking down of rocks into pieces. So this one, intrusive and extrusive igneous rock will be weathered and will become what we call sediments. Okay? Sediments. It, they will become sediments. So that is uh, step 2 na, no? Step 2. After crystallization and cooling or solidification, ma-weather sila. Kasi na-expose na eh. Na-expose into air, water, dito, ganun din, no? Kahit na sa ilalim siya, merong mga weathering agents dyan. And then, the sediments will be eroded. When we say ero erosion, that is the washing away of um, sediments or minerals. Washing away or the transfer Okay? The process of transferring sediments from one area to another. That is erosion. So there are agents of erosion then, di ba? Water, yung pinaka-common. Uh, Nagkukos yun ng landslide, nagkukos yun ng flash flood. Nasasama yung sediments dyan. And of course, the process of deposition. Ibig sabihin, yung deposition settling. Okay? Erosion is the movement while deposition is pag-settle ng sediments sa isang area. Okay? Pag-stop and then they will just settle there. That is uh, the process. No? Erosion and deposition. So after ma-deposit, say for example this one, no? yung uh, igneous rock natin dito, eto na sila, nag-form ng deposits. Yan. So ma-form your or uh, mag-uumpisa na yung process of the ano no lithification. Yeah. When we say lithification, guys, that is the process of 
forming sedimentary rock. For in for igneous rock, guys, merong dalawang process. You have the crystallization and cooling and solidification. Yan yun, no? Pag magma, crystallization. Pag lava, that is cooling and solidification. Pero parang pareho lang sila. Kaso, yung dito, maraming, ano, no? Maraming, um, external factor na involve yung air, yung oxygen, yung iba pa kasi exposed siya. So dito, ano lang, no, crystallization lang talaga siya. Pagtigas, no, hindi na siya nagko-cool down masyado. Uh, uh, mainit pa rin, no, yung uh, ibang mga intrusive igneous rock dito. Kasi exposed pa rin sila sa magma, sa ilalim. Yan. So you have crystallization and cooling and solidification for igneous rock, while for uh, Sedimentary rock naman guys, that is lithification. So lithification involves compaction no? and cementation of the sediments. So magsasama-sama uli yung sediments guys and form sedimentary rock. Nakuha nyo yung direction guys. So dito nagsimula sa magma. Yan. Yung magma natin. Yan yung kumbaga, yan yung parent material ng lahat ng rocks. And then it will become the intrusive. Pag lumabas na siya, nagiging lava. It will become the extrusive. And then they will be exposed to weathering agents. So, mabibreak down sila. Magiging sediments. And then it, they will become, or it, they will be eroded and deposited in some places. No? So they will be transferred from one area to another and form a deposit. Kaya makikita natin dito, merong layers na deposit na sila. So, uh, karamihan ng mga fossil uh, mga fossils ng dinosaurs. Uh, fossils of dinosaurs, of plants, ancient plants, and insects, they are deposited sa sedimentary rock, guys. Okay? Hindi mo sila makikita sa igneous rock, hindi mo sila makikita sa metamorphic rock, but they can be found in sedimentary rock. Please take note of that. Which type of rock holds a lot of fossils? So, that is sedimentary rock. Even our, ano no, even our uh, fossil fuels are found um, in between the layers of sedimentary rocks. Okay, so that's it. So they will be eroded. The sediments will be eroded and deposited, and then the process of lithification will start. Okay, when they are already deposited in an area. So the process of lithification or the process of of formation of the sedimentary uh, sedimentary rock will start. So it involves compaction and cementation. Okay, take note. What are the processes under lithification? Compaction and cementation. When we say compaction, of course, that is compressed. The materials are being compressed by pressure. Okay. When we say cementation, that is addition of adhesive. Parang nilagyan mo ng glue. Cementation, pinagdidikit-dikit mo yung materials. So that is cementation. Pag compaction, pinocompress mo lang. Walang adhesive na dala, no? Yan. So sa cementation naman, merong, merong involvement ng cementing agent. Okay, so after that, uh, the sedimentary rock, uh, rock will continue to form uh, ano, no? layers and layers until they will be exposed to Heat and pressure na dito sa ilalim. Heat and pressure. And if they will be, ano no, if they will be exposed to heat and pressure, mala malalim na yung deposit eh. For example, magpo-form sila dito ng maraming layers. Yan, tubig ito no. Maraming layers dyan. So yung iba sa ilalim may exposed doon sa heat. No? Na nasa ilalim ng lupa. And the metamorphism will start. Okay, so again, from the term pa lang na metamorphism, alam mo na kung ano yung magiging result niya, di ba? So metamorphism is the process of formation of metamorphic rock. So through heat and pressure, may expose sila. Through heat and pressure, magiging metamorphic rock. Ito niya guys. No? Ito yung maging, magiging metamorphic rock. And again, yung metamorphic rock na naman, no, after billions of years or millions of years, will be exposed one as again to the heat. No? Magmi-melt na naman siya. So the process is melting. Yung metamorphic rock. And babalik siya bilang magma. Nakuha nyo guys yung cycle. So ito yung magiging cycle nyo guys. Yung direction. Yan. 
So, yung magma, pwede siyang maging extrusive pag lumabas na siya sa volcano or intrusive pag dito lang siya nag-crystallize sa loob. Yan. And then after that, yung intrusive igneous rock at extrusive igneous rock will be weathered. Yan. So, they will be broken down into uh, pieces by different agents of weathering. The water, the heat, the uh, air. So, they will be, uh, or the, the wind, no? they will be broken down into pieces. So, that is what we call sediments. No? Mapupudpud sila. And then after that, they will be eroded and deposited sa ibang lugar. So, particularly doon sa dagat or sa mga bodies of water, sa ilalim. Kaya nga nandyan yung mga fossil fuels natin, karamihan sa mga dagat. Eh. No? Or sa mga ancient na forest, kasi nadideposit, nadideposit. Say for example, ito yung naunang layer, papatungan siya ng another layer, tapos papatungan na naman siya ng another layer, so nakukompress na, nakukompress ito. Hanggang siya, hanggang sa mag-start na yung tinatawag natin na lithification. Okay, or the process of uh, deformation of sedimentary rocks. So, ano dyan, no? Uh, ano siya? Ang process dyan ay nag involve ng, ano ang tawag doon? The compaction and cementation. Pag compaction, kinocompress mo lang. Pag cementation, merong involvement ng adhesive. Okay, so there is an involvement of adhesive or cementing agent which holds the, ano no? the uh, sediments together. Okay? So, parang may cementing agents. And then, it will form layers and layers of sedimentary rocks until it will be exposed na to heat and pressure. So, heat or pressure, guys, can cause heat. Eh. Uh, say, for example, pag naupo ka ng matagal sa upuan mo, anong mapapansin mo pag tumayo ka na dyan? Uh, yung upuan, medyo mainit. Aside from the fact that uh, you transferred some of the uh, heat coming from your body, yung bigat mo or yung pressure na in-apply mo sa may upuan ay nagpo-produce ng heat. Okay? So that's it. And it will be converted into, yung sedimentary rock will be converted into metamorphic rock through the process of metamorphism. Okay? So ano yung mga involved na agent for metamorphism? Heat and pressure. And then eventually the metamorphic rock will be exposed to heat once again and it will melt once again. It will melt and, it, and become magma once again. That's why it is a cycle, guys. Okay? Cycle. Cycle siya. Okay? So, uh, take note lang, guys, no, of the sequence dito. Depende. Wala siyang permanent na starting point. But if, for example, ito yung nangyari sa inyo, no? Uh, I will give a starting point for this uh, sequence and then you will identify kung saan siya mag -e end Say for example, or ano yung mga dadaanan yung process. Say for example, sediments. So, makukonvert siya into um, metamorphic rock. So, ano yung mga processes na dadaanan ng sediments before siya maging metamorphic rock? Una is, syempre, erosion and deposition. Yan. And then, mag-undergo uh, mag siya ng tatag natin na lithification and magiging sedimentary rock. And then, it will be exposed to heat and pressure, mag magkakaroon ng metamorphism, at magiging metamorphic rock. Parang ganun guys, you know, sa, sa ating uh, exam for example. You will be given starting point and then you will identify uh, the processes that will uh, be uh, uh, undergone by that particular na material para maging another type of rock na kuha, guys. So, this is a cycle. No? Cycle siya. Wala sang definite na starting point. Any point can become a starting point in this particular na process. Okay? So, ganyan yan. No? Uh, any point. So, uh, yung uh, for the sake of understanding lang, dito tayo nagsimula kanina. Pero, event, pero actually, wala siyang definite na simula. So, dito tayo nagsimula kanina sa magma. Then, yung magma ay pwede siyang magiging intrusive igneous rock. Pwede rin siyang magiging extrusive igneous rock. So, pag nasa labas na siya. So, ibig sabihin yung origin ng extrusive igneous rock ay yung lava. 
Yung origin naman ng intrusive igneous rock ay yung magma pa lang. Okay? So, lava na pag lumabas, magma naman pag nasa ano pa lang, no? nasa loob. And then, magiging sedimentary, no? through weathering, magiging sediments, erosion and deposition and litification, magiging sedimentary rocks, and then, may exposed to metamorphic rocks. Yan. So, ang tanong dito, guys, is, sa volcanic eruption lang ba nagsisimula yung intrusive at extrusive igneous rock? Hindi, guys, no? Pwede rin siyang mangyari pag merong earthquake, formation of mountains, o di kaya um, movements of tectonic phase. Gaya nga may tinatawag tayo na seafloor spreading. Eh. Yung ibang mga igneous rock na go-origin doon sa pag-split uh, ng ating seafloor. Say for example, this is our seafloor. Yan. Uh, divergent plate boundaries. So, ibig sabihin yung direction ng seafloor natin dito. No? Ito yung plate boundaries sa gitna. So, na uh, na nabubuo yung igneous rock dito. No? Habang tumataas yung mga molten materials, nagkukul down sila kasi tubig na dito sa sa ano no, sa top. Tubig na dito. Dito, seafloor ito. Seafloor siya. So, nagkukul down siya, nabubuo yung igneous rock dito na area. Yan. So, dito na area. So, hindi lang siya sa volcanic eruption nang gagaling yung igneous rock. Pero ito yung pinaka-evident kasi ito yung nakikita natin sa continental crust. Yung oceanic crust, hindi natin masyadong nakikita kasi nasa ilalim naman sila ng dagat, di ba? So yan. So hindi lang siya nag-originate through volcanic eruption, yung igneous rock. Pwede rin siyang mabuo via formation of mountains or orogenesis or pwede rin siyang mabuo through the uh, spreading of the seafloor or doon sa mga plate boundaries natin. Okay? So that's it. May mga shortcuts dito guys. No? Ang metamorphic rock, pwede siyang bumalik sa sedimentary rock. Yan. Ang uh, magma, pwede siyang dumiretso sa sedimentary rock. Or yung uh, intrusive igneous rock, or yung extrusive igneous rock, pwede rin dumiretso sa metamorphic rock. So ito yung diagram natin dyan. Yan. Okay? So pwede, pwede mag-shortcut guys. No? Yung cycle na yan. No? Yung rock cycle, pwede mag-shortcut. Pwede siyang mag-shortcut. Say for example, yung intrusive igneous rock, pwede siyang maging sedimentary directly or pwede siyang mag ano no, pwede siyang magbumalik sa pagiging metamorphic. Pwede no. Yung process diyan is for example dito. Yan. Yung ating metamorphic rock, syempre uh, um, kung magbabalik siya sa sedimentary rock, dapat mag uh, ano sa muna no. Dadaan siya muna dito. Kay weathering. So, dyan na siya muna o dadaan. No? So, mayroong shortcut, guys. So, ito yung one-way na daanan or process. One-way, yung cycle. And dito naman yung mga shortcuts. So, during the exam, prioritize nyo, guys, yung ano, no? Prioritize nyo muna yung one-way or yung buong cycle muna. And then, try nyo na i-analyze din yung mga shortcuts. So, second lang yung shortcuts. So, for example, yung metamorphic rock kung gusto niya mag-convert, no? A metamorphic rock, magiging sedimentary rock. So, ito yung magiging daanan niya. Hindi siya pwedeng bumalik direct so dito sa sedimentary rock. So, dapat dumaan siya dito sa weathering. Yan. So, may expose yung, ano no? May expose yung metamorphic rock sa ilalim. So, mag, may magkakaroon ng tinatawag natin na uplift. Yan. Uplift or, uh, ano no? Yung metamorphic rock mag emerge sa ibabaw ng lupa uplift hanggang sa ma-weather siya so pag nasa ibabaw na siya ng lupa ma-expose siya sa weathering agents and then magiging sediment siya uli erosion mag and sedimentary rock siya uli kuha so that's it no? for the metamorphism or metamorphic rock yung igneous rock ba pwedeng mag uh, metamorphic rock pwede no Pwede silang mag-shortcut. Yung igneous rock, guys. Pwede mag-shortcut into metamorphic rock. Yan. Pwede siyang mag-shortcut. Hindi na siya dadaan sa pagiging sedimentary rock. Pwede. Ano lang yung kailangan natin? Siyempre, kung ano yung kailangan para mabuo yung metamorphic rock. Yung heat and heat and pressure. Yan. 
So yun lang yung kailangan para magkaroon ng shortcut. Ganun lang. No? At ito yung nangyayari sa nature. Pero for the sake of understanding, itong one way lang muna yung i-an uh, natin guys. No? Para ipaprioritize yung naka-purple na direction. Pero kung merong questions sa exam na uh, tungkol sa shortcuts, so ito siya. Gre-refer kayo. Yung, yung ano, yung uh, yung um, igneous rock ay pwedeng maging metamorphic rock directly at yung metamorphic rock pwede rin bumalik sa pagiging sedimentary. Okay? So, pwede. Ito yung mga shortcuts natin. Heat and pressure lang for the metamorphic rock para maging sedimentary. Yung process is uplift tapos mag-undergo siya ng weathering, erosion, nitification, sedimentary naman ulit. Yan. So, that's it. Okay? So, ito yung mga shortcuts, no? Metamorphic to sedimentary, tapos yung igneous naman to igneous naman to uh, to metamorphic. Yan yung mga shortcuts na common. Yan. And then, wag nating kalimutan, guys, na merong usok or pyroclastic na mga substances na pinapalabas din yung volcano. At pwede rin siyang maging sediments, no? Tawag natin dyan sa mixture of uh, rocks dust particles and gases na pinapalabas ng volcano ay tephra. Yan. So, pakitake note nyan, guys. No? Tephra yung gaseous na pinapalabas. Yung solid naman or may pagka-liquid na pinapalabas ay yung lava. Nakuha, guys. So, yung magma, pwede siyang makonvert into uh, yung magma. No? Yung magma ay pwede siya, pag pinalabas na siya sa may, sa may volcano, nasa form siya ng either tephra or yung gaseous, tephra, or yung lava. So, yung tephra is gas, no? And with the dust particles then and yung lava, fluid siya. Fluid, nagpo-flow eh. Fluid. So, that's it. Okay? So, take note, guys, of the rock cycle. Ito yung important din dyan. Okay? So, that's it for this particular video, next na video natin, i-discuss ko yung mga types of rocks at saka yung, yung process of mining and locating uh, minerals. Maraming salamat po.